Greetings to the faculty and panel of interviewers for this business proposal. I would like to greet you with my utmost respect. The presentation which is I am going to discuss is my second option in presenting a business proposal. To tell you the truth, my first option is related to construction business, which is actually my field of work. But due to time constraint and lack of review materials, lack of educational and references, I switch gear to my second option, which is my second lab to, to become a fast food restaurant owner. With that, I would like to start my business proposal. Uh, let me first do the setup to make it very good viewing. Okay. This is in compliance for the subject MBA 130, Entrepreneurship, a feasibility study presented to Dr. Emiliana M. Mananghaya, Dean College of Business Administration and Graduate School of Business. Uh, me, as the student, I am going to present myself. I am an electrical engineer by profession, a native of Tipas, Taguig City. My name is Mark Guillermo. I am a certified bona fide roasted chicken enthusiast. I love that. And I realized the chicken roasting business makes a lot of sense in terms of business profitability. Here in Saudi Arabia, the chicken roasting restaurants are everywhere. And with the magnitude of people, we have a lot of options to choose. And I saw how this business is really gaining a lot of profits. So this is my option, as I said, my second option in preparing this business proposal. So when I realized that chicken roasting business makes a lot of sen sense in terms of business profitability. So I would like to start from Lola's recipe, which is true, of chicken deep frying with the twist of Mediterranean spices. Me as an engineer turned entrepreneur foreseen a win-win business success for the past roasters. This is to touch the heart of food lovers. So this is the logo of my company, Tipas Roasters. So as you can see, there is a chicken and pandesal with the French fries. So we will discuss it as we go on, why I put pandesal. In the view of regular rice or regular bun, because this is very important. My primary objectives, is to be the leading restaurant that serves roasted chicken in the Philippines with service personnel that are bridging the restaurant closer to the heart of every Filipino. Secondary objectives is to serve the nation with Middle Eastern and Filipino fusion cuisine to provide healthy ambience with relaxing environment for every customer. Now, in doing the feasibility study, I will start in chapter one as the introduction. I will introduce it for you, my dear teachers and professors. The Filipino color food cuisine is mixed with the recipes they learned from other neighboring countries, being one of the world's top consumers of chicken meat. Filipinos are noted for their adobo recipe that makes foreigners wanting to taste more of the Philippines. 
poultry industry is a huge sector in the country. This is relatively observant with the continuous growth of population of fast food chains in the country that basically serve fried chicken recipes to the consumers. In a high population country like the Philippines, going into the food business makes good business sense. One can start small almost anywhere, even without renting store space, yet make a decent income and have a good chance of growing your business into something bigger. This is because no matter how high the prices of goods may rise and how low the purchasing power of the peso may sink, people will continue to eat. Filipinos may scream on passion, pods, entertainment, or gadgets, but rare are those who will scream on food and drinks and on the fellowship that they enjoy while having them. Even as the domestic market for food is dominated by big players, small business can ride on this wave of preference for healthy food and for food price lower than those offered by big companies. Among the affordable price food products in the market are the chicken meat food, which is previously were prepared at home from scratch and with the onset of busy lifestyles like that at Cayetano Avenue and many other areas in Taguig City. Consumers are now turning to meals that could be had fast and convenient. This paper presents a feasibility study for a quick service restaurant with an initial of one branch situated along Cayetano Avenue in Taguig City. This will assist in supporting the viability of the business plan. Additionally, it can identify possible complications ahead of time, thus eliminating them from occurring by planning for precautions. This paper will also enable the creation and testing of the business structure of the roasted chicken. The fast roaster will serve roasted chicken, hamburgers, roasted shrimps, and salads. The conceptual idea of the restaurant alongside the creative cuisine and several marketing ideas allow clarity to the business scheme which ultimately, with the support of this study, will align investors and stakeholders on a detailed plan and the science behind it. Let us study now the related literature and studies. Related studies for local. Filipinos love chicken meat as observed in countless chicken recipe available on their colorful fiestas and celebration. Chicken is the next large consumed meat in the country next to pork, says the recent survey conducted by Food and Agriculture Organization in 2015. However, per capita, chicken meat consumption in the Philippines is low relative to that of the neighboring Asian countries. For example, the annual per capita chicken meat consumption in 2004 was 13.52 kg and 37.59 kg in Thailand and Malaysia respectively, compared to 8.20 kg in the Philippines. High retail prices relative to household incomes were cited as the main reason behind the relatively low demand. However, fried chicken and chicken adobo is still the prevailing chicken recipe famous among Filipinos. This is obvious to the recent survey that shows in Metro Manila an average of 20 million kilos of chicken are eaten per month. Fast food giants Jollibee and McDonald's saw revenues about 5 billion and 760 million respectively. Sales from Jollibee include those earned from the group's fast food chains Jollibee, 
Mang Inasal, Greenwich, and Chowking. This shows how much Filipinos love to eat fast food chicken products. Meanwhile, Bounty Agro Ventures, the company behind like John Manok or Roasted Chicken, Brands, Chooks to Go, Uling Roasters, and Real reported about 10 billion in 2015. Roasted chicken is a chicken recipe that is common among Middle Eastern countries, yet seems minimally known in the Philippines. Roasting is a deep, is a process of cooking chicken in the combination of pressure cooker and deep oil frying. The technique was invented by LAM Pilam in the early 50s and is marketed by the broaster company of Beloit, Wisconsin, United States, which Pilan founded. Marinated chickens are cooked using pressure cooker to soften and then later deep fry under this technique. This process makes the chicken juicier and tastier. Given the high consumption of chicken meat in Metro Manila, putting another taste of chicken of family treasure recipe with a twist of Mediterranean recipe for its people, it's highly visible. In foreign, in an article of Bureau Monitor International in 2018, economic and social conditions in the Philippines were very favorable to the fast food industry as at the end of the review period, improved purchasing power and even higher frequency of spending on food and the increasingly busy lifestyles of Filipinos, especially for the emerging middle class, heightened the demand for more convenience which fast food players can take advantage of. To further elevate customer satisfaction, fast food players recognize the growing consumer group of millennials, especially those coming from the emerging middle class. The increasingly on-the-go lifestyles of millennials are a huge opportunity for fast food players. To further highlight their strength in terms of convenience compared to the other types of food service. Related studies for local. The fast food in the Philippines. In an article in Doing Fast Food Ventures in the Philippines, fast food has become part of the culture. With national and international chains in many towns, all meals at fast food restaurants include rice, all the french fries also tend to be on the menu. Banana ketchup is prepared, although the international chains serve tomato ketchup. A survey by AC Nielsen found that 54% of Filipino interviewed eat at a fast food restaurant at least once a week, compared to 35% in the United States. McDonald's, Kentucky Fried Chicken, and Pizza Hut all operate in the Philippines, but they only have a small share of the Philippines' fast food market. They receive a steep competition from local favorites. Chowking, the top Chinese food chain, Greenwich, the leading pizza and pasta chain, and Jollibee. The Philippines' fast food industry is dominated by Jollibee, a Philippine-owned company that controls 46% of the quick service restaurant market and 80% of the burger-based meals market. The Jollibee company owns Chowking and Greenwich. As of 2001, the company had 722 restaurants and planned to open 175 more in 2002. It also runs restaurants in California, Hong Kong, and Dubai, places where there are large Filipino communities. And as of 2013, is boasted, it boasted about 2,581 Jollibee and other fast food restaurants under various brands. Now I will discuss about the 
conceptual framework, company's business model. With that, I will be using Carsor so that we can uh, relate for the topic that I am going to present. Okay, now it's the Carsor is there. The company business model. It starts with customer relationship. The past Brewster's mission for their customer is long term. It can reach families and it can create network among Tagigenyo's neighboring uh, cities and neighboring provinces. But at the initial stage of the business, it is only focused within the nearby uh, barangays along Cayetano Avenue. So long term, rich families create network. It's the primary, primary customer relationship plan. We go to the channels, the past brosters will use social media, face to face and referrals. And we will be conducting also product presentation to introduce our product. For the value propositions, it is the product that we are serving is the best, is the best, how can I say this? It's the best facade of the business it's in terms of high quality and innovation because of the twist of spices coming from Mediterranean countries. So the product that we are serving is in high quality, which we are very sure, I am very sure that the customers will love it. For the key activities, this is dealing about the operation of the business in the production and the market operation. And the key resources are the talented employees and the brand that the business is dealing with, which is the tipas process, roasted spicy chickens and a lot more. It is it will be patented in our portfolio in dealing business. The key partners, in order to to make the success, is the chicken farms and the prawn suppliers, the bakery owners and the condiment suppliers, because these are the mandatory uh, raw materials that the business will be making its products in order to serve the public, our customers. The cost structure uh, will come from marketing and the, its human resources, and in doing the supply, we are planning to I am planning to expand the business by reaching subdivisions, factories, schools, by, give, by giving them bulk supplies, so in order to gain more profits. And the revenue stream, the business, which will be doing direct sales, bulk, bulk orders, and reseller sales. This reseller sales may be when the time comes due to franchising. So we have a lot of plans in creating revenues for the business. For the statement of the problem, I would like to start again to make sure that the requirements for the study will be implemented, will be covered. So Philippines as a country of food lovers love the mix and fusion of spices. With the colorful piastas and local occasions that serves almost hundreds of chicken and other meat recipe, it is undeniable that country has really more to showcase in terms of imaginative cooking. However, browsing as a method of chicken cooking has not been well observed in this nation. Some of the re chicken recipe merely linger to frying, saute, and other thick sauce recipes, 
Thus, in line with this, putting a restaurant that will serve roasted chicken sounds too peaceable. The restaurant is geared to satisfy not just the taste buds, but also the hearts of its patron customers. Thus, as Filipinos become more health conscious, affordable food products that cater to this healthy and fast-paced lifestyle can expect to see more growth. This study is to determine the feasibility of opening a fast food restaurant, selling in Taguig City area, one of the richest city in national capital region. Roasted chicken is a local food extremely popular in the city, but roasted chicken has enjoyed the same popularity as other types of deep fried chicken being offered by the leading fast food chain restaurant. This feasibility aims to propose a quick serving restaurant or a fast food that will offer a high end and mouth watering product that will cater the needs of many Tagigenas. The branch will be located along Cayetano Avenue and will be managed directly by the owner in the initial stage of its establishment. The business will be named in the birth place of its secret recipe and will be registered as the Pass Booster Company. In, in its initial operation, the number of employees will meet the operational requirements, maximizing the strength of its workforce without lowering the standard of service. This study aims to enhance the operation and plan to continuously manage by the owner's family in the future of its expansion. The owner's projection timeline will be as follows. By 2019, Tipas Brewsters will open its first branches, its, its first branch along Cayetano Avenue, Taguig City. By 2025, Tipas Brewsters Company will acquire its poultry farms in Montalban Rizal Province. By 2026, Tipas Brewsters will open its second and third branches to the neighboring BGC, Bonifacio Global City, and Arca South in Taguig. And by 2030, the past Brewsters will open its business for franchising. The comprehensive approach of this presentation will discuss in detail planning, narratives, and methods to achieve the goal of the past Brewster's business plan. As we proceed with the succeeding slides, we will understand the following requirement for the successful establishment of the past Brewster's, its marketing aspect, financial aspects, management aspects will be identified, particularly the required information for the following business elements, the demographic, economic, geographic, Psycho psychographic will be discussed and determined, products and services to be offered, the pricing strategy, promotional strategy, distribution strategy, competitors, market segmentation, marketing philosophy, and revenue projection. In addition to that, how many number of personals will be hired to operate the business, propose salaries and benefits of the personnel, rules and regulations, policies and procedures, and the construction of the building. In my business plan, I plan to be lease, con lease contract or rent. The land building facilities and equipment needed and the costs, the business days and hours, business processes and flowchart, utilities and waste disposal, which is very important for a fast food chain, restaurant. Legal and regulatory requirements, the capitalization of the project, sources of financing, financial assumptions, the five year projected income statement, which will be discussed lately, the five year projected balance sheet, the five year projected cash flows, and we will test the feasibility of this project using payback period, liquidity, current ratio, and quick ascent ratio. Solvency debt ratio, 
and debt to equity ratio. The efficiency account receivable turnover and average collection period. And of course, the acceptability of the project using payback period. Now, we put some assumption in doing this feasibility study. First, human resources to fulfill the required operating hours. Second, the prices of basic commodities for the cost of goods or products. And necessary and mandatory utilities and machineries to operate the business. Survey reports that represent the pulse of customers. Five-year sales projections and revenues. And the financial assumptions which will be shown later on. The scope of this study contains the following. One branch only of the passport stores situated along Cayetano Avenue in Taguig City. And of course, to determine the operating cost for a five year period. To determine the revenues for a five year period and to determine the profitability of the past brosters company. The significance of study. The results of the study will be of great benefit to the following. First, to the entrepreneurs. The results will provide the entrepreneurs with some knowledge on the business aspect of a small business fast food chain. Students, the given data would be guided the students on what to do with the financial problems and approaches using the fundamental accounting formulas and strat strategic marketing and management plan. Let us discuss the definition of terms. The business risk is the possibilities of a company will have lower than anticipated profits. Experience a loss rather than taking a profit Business risk is influenced by numerous factors, including sales volume, per unit price, input costs, competition, the overall economic climate, and government regulation. The cash flow, which is very important. A statement of cash flows shows the movement in the cash account of a company. It presents cash inflows, the receipt, and outflows, the payments, in the three activities of business, operating, investing, and financing. We will be discussing the capital budgeting. It is the process in which a business determines and evaluates potential expenses or investments that are large in nature. Cash flow estimation is a must for assessing the investment decision of any kind to evaluate these investment decisions. There are some principles of cash flow estimation. Discounted payback period is a capital budgeting procedure used to, de to determine the profitability of a project. Entrepreneur, a person who sets up a business or business taking on financial risk, the hope of profit. Initial outlay is the amount required to start a business or a project. It is also called initial investment outlay or simply initial investment. LGU, which is, stands for Local Government Unit. Operating break-even, the level of sales necessary to cover all operating costs, the point at which earning before income tax is equal to zero. Payback period method is the length of time required to recover the cost of an investment. And stakeholders, a person with an interest or concern in something, especially in business. We will be discussing the methodology. 